Hello everyone, this is Chromanem and welcome to the fifth episode of our Stalker Gamma Ecologist run. So, last time we made our way from Agroprom uh, through Garbage and uh, to Cordon. We finished the mission for Sidorovich, which uh, was to escort some uh, rookies over to take care of some cats. We also finished both of our... Um, Package missions, which were also in Cordon, we managed to stay alive somehow, which is really cool. Professor Semenov, uh, MVP, <laughs> with his arm cell, which takes a week to re reload. And we also managed to make our way through the Great Swamps all the way down to the Clear Sky Base. In this episode, we are going to try and um, deal with the missions over here in the great swamps that we have we'll also check out some other missions if we can find them and i will also like to grab the stashes that we have uh, around here we also have a yellow stash which is really cool maybe we'll find something good uh in here but i think i will avoid this mission which is clear the research area i don't think i have enough bullets to deal with uh, whatever is there it's probably going to be renegades but we will go to the northwest and uh, talk to the doctor which is Strelok's old companion and he is part of the main storyline after that we will head back up north um i'm not sure which way the passage to agroprom from here is pretty pretty horrible there are usually mutants around this area so we'll see how we do on ammo when we get there. Otherwise, I, I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see, I guess. But I would also like to move to garbage and pick up this yellow stash. Hmm. And we also have a couple of uh, missions to turn in, including in Rostock. Actually, no, no. This is a kill mission, which I took by mistake from Freedom. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we avoid garbage for the time being and wild territory. But with all that said, uh, yeah, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment whatever you think about this series and what I should uh, do with the Ecologist run moving forward. We already decided that our uh, home base will be set up in Dead City. And in the future, even though it was suggested I set up um, in the um, shipwreck in uh, Zaton, I would much rather prefer to set up uh, here in Yanov Station, mostly because we will be very close to the ecologist base here. So that should give us access to much more, uh, to many more ec ecologist missions, which are. Of, of a bigger interest to us but yeah with all that said let's uh start today's run so we're going to recover the tracking device of these mutants first oh this lighting is beautiful golden hour is starting which uh, will be interesting because um oh where did i leave oh he's right there oh. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking it might be a bit uh, scary later on because we will have to move at night, but um, it's nothing we haven't done before, so I, I think we'll be alright. Oh, one other thing, I will want to set up my uh, spawn point right here in the Great Swamps. I always forget to do that and we don't want to spawn back in Agroprom. So here we are, set the spawn here for the souls like. And uh, let's check the dashboard. Let's see if we have any missions we can take. Scientists need an experienced stalker to lead them out into the field for study. This is actually a pretty cool mission. We don't even need to be in the anomaly field. We just need to be close enough, close to it. And um, 
we'll need to guard the guys while they do their little uh, research. Okay. And also, he wants us to deliver a PDA to Nimble in Zaton. Which we can do no problem. It will take a while, but... Classified information in Yantar. Yes, please! I don't think we took the fight mission, did we? Oh, uh, it, it took Eliminate the Bandit threat instead. Well, now we have two missions over there. It's really annoying when the task force bug, bugs like that. Right, this guy wants two antidotes and we have three, so we'll accept this. If we have stuff for a turn mission, I would, uh, I will gladly do it. And he's actually right here near us, so... Here you go, my... Oh? Oh, it's this one. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna do a quick check, see if anyone wants to come with us. But it doesn't look like it. How about you? No. There is also the mission I could take from uh, from the leader of Clear Sky. I forgot what his name is right now. Uh, to clear out a lot of Renegade bases. That would give me a lot, a lot of uh, standing with Clear Sky. But it's not something for an ecologist to do. Surely not an, a respectable doctor such as ourselves. Oh, and this is where I have to escort the ecologists. It's actually in the way to the doctor, which is pretty good. Right, the main thing I'm worried about in uh, in the Great Swamps is the pumping station. It usually has some guys running around there. I can't see any right now, which is probably a good thing. But I do have the mod that... Um, I do have the um, enemies can see through foliage mod. Oh, here's the cracking device. Which is really good. Uh, I'm not sure where I need to turn it in. But next up, we're gonna go eliminate some mutants straight to the north. Gonna walk up. Okay, those are either fleshes or boars. So I'm gonna... Go the long way around a bit. Oh, there he is. I'll try and let our guys deal with it. Oh, I think I actually hit Semenov by mistake. Oh, that's a lot of loot. That's really good. I really need to get a... Uh, I really need to get a Hunter's Kit. Right, but yeah, coming back to what I was saying, I have NPCs can see through foliage turned on, and um, that actually really helps in the Great Swamps. And I I suggest if you're playing Stalker Gamma, you also turn it on. It's a very good mod to have, and it stops uh, enemies basically lasering you through trees and uh, grass, especially if you're playing with a higher grass settings setting like I am. Okay, there's a stash here, but there's also some mutants. I think our guys can deal with some dogs. Right, Freedom Leather Jacket. I think I can disassemble this. Yes, I can. Okay, now I do have to deal with these mutants because we have a mission. And they're down. I'm not even sure what they were. Oh, great. Cats. Oh, 
Okay, that went much better than I expected. What's next? I could go for this stash. But honestly, this is what I really want. Hmm, which way should I go? I think that takes me... You know what? Let, let's do it. It does take me a bit close to the pumping station, which I don't like. But I don't see any en enemies around there, and even if there are, I can just run away from them. There's a lot of dogs. I'm hearing, and that makes me a little bit uncomfortable. Okay, which way? Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, let's just do this. Right, there's at least two of them. Let's uh, let our guys deal with them again. They're a bit better equipped to deal with dogs than I am. That was a little scary for some reason. That that dog got way closer than I would have liked. Luckily we got him before he hurt us. We're once again pretty low on meds. Okay, so our our golden stash is in that burnt up down there. And I do know there are Mutants usually hanging around in that area. Sometimes bandits as well. But right now I'm hearing mostly dogs. Okay, let's see. There's an electric anom anomaly here and we could use this to lure them in. Okay, that's a rat. And I hear dogs in that direction. I don't see any though. Okay, my, my guys have uh, zeroed in on dogs. Once again, I'll try to let them deal with them. And do remember there's one secret. It's it's a bit meta gamey. I'm gonna say. For the great swamps but um, if you're ever under threat from mutants just jump in the water yeah you'll take a lot of radiation but mutants do not have pathing in water that also goes for the hills and garbage so you can just right got him so you can just uh, run in there and uh, you will be safe Unless it's something like controllers, of course, which uh, don't really care about your pathing. Okay, Autumn Stalker suit. Hmm, it's not really something I want. I could honestly wear it as it is, and it would still be better than what we have. You know what? Yeah, let's let's put this on. <laughs> and a duty overcoat, which I don't care about. But we have our first uh, our first drug making kit. And uh, that will help us a little bit with making drugs. Do I disassemble? Guys, are you not on aggressive? Hmm. Okay, next up, let's uh, deal with... Actually, let's go to the doctor first. We're still doing pretty good on ammo, much better than I expected. So I 
think we're gonna head to the anomalies first and uh, let our guys scan them. We'll just have to wait around until he finishes, which is not a problem. There is a renegade base somewhere around here, and that is a little bit scary. And there's another one over in that direction somewhere. Uh, guys? Ooh, the rads! I have nothing for rad resistance. We'll, we'll just drink the vodka. Okay, there's a bandit over there. Um, okay, how do we do this? You might have seen it. Seen us. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the zone is beautiful at this time of day. Okay, we can grab some water and um, let's see how we deal with this bandit. I don't want to shoot at him from this distance and we're going to have to go on open field all the way to him, which is... Uh, Not good. What bottler? Oh, I hear a bloodsucker. I don't think we got him. And the dog's coming on us. Ah! Okay, where was that guy? Come on, I know you're here. Just show your ugly mug so I can shoot you in it. sure we didn't kill him. Where the hell did he go? Oh, never mind. Never mind. We got him. Or the dog got him. And now we are indeed <laughs> running low now. Where, where's the other one? Oh, I th think he stopped there to um, check on the anomaly, right? Please tell me you're checking on the anomaly. He did speak, so that usually means he started. Yeah, there he is. We're good. I'm gonna take another little bit of coffee. Uh, coffee pills. Just to keep the sleep at bay for a little while longer. And uh, we'll just wait here until our friend is done. Okay, so our ecologist friend finished his uh, his thing. So from here, I think the best thing would be to go talk to doctor. Uh, now I do hope my guys won't go crazy and try to attack the renegades on the other side. 
because that would be very, very annoying. Okay, here's the entrance. And just, just look at this. So beautiful. Yeah, that's the Renegade base right there. And we're gonna have to pass awfully close to it. Um, I just moved through the grass here. We did drink some vodka and that offers us a little bit of rad resistance, so I'm, I'm gonna just risk it. Okay, this though is a bit annoying. There are some pretty big anomalies here that we need to avoid. Okay, and um, the doctor also has a doggo running around. A pseudo dog, actually. Okay, there he is. I'm just gonna steal his stuff first. Okay, and we can have a talk with him. Yes, what do you want? I have heard that Strelok is still alive. Do you know where he is? Strelok, are you sure? Quite certain. The entire zone can stop, talk stop talking about him. I need to find him. Have you got any ideas where he might be? Well, well, even after all these years, regrettably, I do not know for certain. The man is like a ghost, but if there is one place he would visit somewhat frequently, it would be his hideout in the Agroprom underground. You may be able to find him there, or at least some clues. To get there, enter via the manhole, somewhere around in the northern complex, then check the walls underground for any large circular openings you could climb into. One of them will lead to his hideout. Okay, thanks for the info. I suppose it's time for an adventure. Oh. Our guys are actually fighting. Yeah, they, they managed to aggro the renegades out there. Uh, Doctor also said to send his regards to Strelok if we find him. Oh, wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. <sighs> oh, my God. How the hell am I going to get out of here? Oh, you idiot, Semenov. Oh, we didn't have ammo, but... Um... <sighs> I'm completely out of ammo. And there's still a renegade running over there. Oh, wow. Well, we lost Semenov. I'm completely out of meds. Uh, oh, actually, stim pack. Uh, maybe one of them has some ammo. Yes, yes, they do. I don't even know what type of ammo I'm running right now. FMJ. Perfect. Let's check this guy as well. He also has some ammo and an MP4 for free. I don't want that. Unfortunately, Feminov decided to run right into our field of fire. Okay. And for a moment, I actually forgot about our rule to not pick up weapons off of enemies. I wouldn't have done it anyway. Um, I would have thrown it if I if I uh, realized. So, the Colt was to, taken from a stash, right? Hmm. 
Yeah, we're gonna need more health. This doesn't give any health. Uh, I don't think we have anything that actually does. Except we could spend some time near this campfire here. lot of stuff these guys have on them. Great. <sighs> Went myself. This this actually never happened to me before. Uh, them aggroing from such a long distance. Yeah, we're just gonna have to stay here and uh, wait until our, our health fills up a bit. Because I'm not confident going out with, uh, with the amount of health we have. Okay, that should be enough health, I hope. Um, our professor guy, the, the one that we um, helped out, is still out there fighting the last renegade. Or at least I hope it's the last renegade. So I'm going to try and uh, help him out. I'm not even sure where... Wow. I'm not even sure where that renegade is, but... Yeah, let's, let's, just, let's just run for it. I could ask our guy to not uh, engage, but uh, remember the rules, I'm not allowed to set them to passive. I am going to chuck down this Hercules just to help me get back to the base. And uh, I'm sure our guy will follow us anytime now. There's another stash here, but I, I'm not comfortable going for it. So let's just uh, head to the south. Okay, and I can probably have some bad quality cigarettes just to clear this little bit of radiation that we've got. All right, and boars. Wonderful. Just the thing I didn't want to hear right now. Okay, there's too many of them. Okay. I got two of them at the expense of being irradiated. Oh, crap. I don't have bandages, Vinka. Stop the bleeding. And, uh... Oh, boy. Maybe some morphine? Would that help? Not morphine, um... Epinephrine. Is there anything else I could take? Nothing that increases health. So uh, I think we might actually die to bleeding here. There we go. <laughs> I could have dodged that boar. Okay, so we're 
back in the clear sky base. It's three in the morning and uh, we're gonna have to get our gear back. We're both hungry and thirsty. It's the middle of the night and uh, I'd really <sighs> prefer not to head out in these conditions. But we don't really have much of a choice. Huh. Oh, it, get, it reopened the mission on that stash, but um, the mission item is actually there. Well, <sighs> let's, let's uh, do a midnight run, I guess. The job is done. And the other job is done. Someone actually um, cleared out the guys up north, I think. Yeah. So that, that mission got solved for us. But now we have to head back uh, to where we died and recover all of our stuff. I will... Uh, do I have an... Oh, wow. I actually have a lot of money now. So, I should probably take some uh, meds with that. Gonna take all the bandages, gonna take all the uh, med kits. Even an... Hmm. Actually, this nets us more uses. Okay, uh, that's, that's what we can get right now. And I probably could grab just a little bit more ammo. Just enough for half a reload. Oh, not even. Yeah, that, that's, that's just one. I will take the scientist with me. I know I could turn in the mission right now, but I'm honestly scared to go alone. <laughs> it's a good thing we got our headlamp. Oh, are you guys actually heading out at this time of night? Hmm. I don't know, guys. It sounds scary. A syringe. Now, if I go straight this way, I think I will run into the um, pumping station. Yeah, so I need to take a right. Uh, navigating the swamp is always um, a weird thing. And I do see some lights at the pumping station. I'm not sure if they're enemies or not, but I would rather just avoid the whole place. there and those that was all our ammo so from this point on um, either we go knife stuff or we just run we're not far and if our professor friend can help us out with mutants if we meet anything we'll just have to run back to him some, some rifle fire behind us. Oh, no, 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 no. Not cats. Oh, boy. Okay, good thing I bought some meds. Wow. 
Oh. That was scary. All right, uh, that way. I did always say I would like to do some night hunting. Um, I, I didn't mean naked and with only a knife. Okay, here's our stash. Oh, thank you. Backpack. Uh, we have some ammo. And disassemble these. And we can run back home. Okay, what do you want? Oh, classified information. Cool. Um, now, you know what? I, I think uh, we'll fix our leg with, uh, with a bit of sleep. Where? Oh, uh, I'm supposed to talk to the professor or the whatever this guy is. Once he reaches here, and that will be another mission. We got a lead line container, which is pretty cool. Room for more artifacts. But now we will take the last of our sleeping pills and we'll take a nap until the morning. Well, midday. Okay, we're up. Grab some food, grab some water. We also grabbed a lot of ammo, so we can sell that as well. Yeah, anything we don't need right now. Which is all of this. I'll keep the um, ammo pieces. Hmm still pretty overweight you know what I'm, I'm gonna disassemble and sell that armor same goes for this hmm can I actually Upgrade the MP... Oh, I can upgrade the MP5. Wait. Um, that'll do. And that actually gets me rid of... Uh, quite a lot of uh, weight. About 3 kilos is the upgrade, right? Uh, can we also do some medical stuff? No caffeine tablets. Bandages? Not enough vodka. Uh, we should be able to make vodka. Perfect. Good enough. And uh, yeah, we should have made more vodka. <laughs> that, that was actually a bad idea. Oh, you live and you learn. Nothing really to deal with rats. No 
Oh, I, I prefer to hang, hang on to my uh, bandages. Right, let's see what else we can sell. We can go to the other crater. That's not bad. Um... I wonder if the medic wants to buy that. And also, gonna drop those, gonna drop the magazines and the trading cards. And um, just buy all the HP ammo we can. And a knife fixing thingamajig is what we also need. I think we'll handle it with the meds we have. Because my knife is nearly out. And the rest goes in the tool. Perfect. Alright, so what do we still have to do here? Don't we have the documents? Do they just go back to the stash when you die? Well, I guess we're gonna have to go back there. And then um, we'll make our way to Agroprom and back to Yantar. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, in my experience, this is a pretty good place to set up. I don't hear another one. Oh. Well, that shows me. At least I got some claws out of that crate. And that's just a rat. We just lose the documents. Hmm. That's just weird. Um, well, that's that's kind of annoying. I'm guessing that the those like mod does bug a little bit sometimes when you uh, die with. Um, with uh, quest objectives on you. I don't know what to think about that, honestly. Oh, someone fought something there. don't want to deal with you right now. We're just going to make a run for it. Okay. We're back in Agriprom. I can already hear zombies on the other side. I'm gonna wait here a bit until my stamina regenerates. And then we're gonna make a run straight to the military base.
I think that's actually a turn in. That is definitely a killing mutants mission. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's an anomaly and I would love to stick around and uh, try and loot it. But I don't think that's prudent right now. Okay, back to military. Let's do a quick task board check. Package to Jupiter. I'm not gonna go all the way there just yet. Documents in Wild. That's that's pretty cool. We can do that. There were three guys that wanted dog hearts. That's that's really funny. Dog meat, we can do that. Not gonna turn the drug making kit in. Uh, I will want to give that to the guy in Dead City since we're setting up the base there. Flesh eyes, that we can do. And anomalous study in Zaton. That's, that's way too far and we're not gonna do it. Okay, job is done. Got a little bit of money for those flesh eyes, much more than we would have gotten at the um, butcher. And dog meat for 200, but it's a little bit of reputation, even though it's with military. And Clear Sky hates us for it. <laughs> what do we need? No? More ammo, yes, as okay. always. But I don't really have anything to sell for it. I have some extra money, I guess. So let's, uh... Чего тебе? <laughs> 300 rubles. I'm sure we can make 300 rubles from somewhere. Um, there we go. Ah, a little bit more. One more ruble. Come on. One casing. Good. I think it's right here in the tunnel. We're taking rats. A lot of rats. Alright, turn that in and let's just run out of here as fast as possible. have anything that could clear that faster. We'll just let let it run out. Okay, all that's left now is to deal with those mutants up there. I'm gonna set that as my active quest. Mm, there's cats over there. Hmm, losing Professor Semenov was uh, actually pretty bad for us. Oh wow! <laughs> that was a snork and a burer. Oh! 
Give me back my gun. Okay. Pull out of that because I don't really want to take any risks. Oh no, no, hell no. I don't know why the terrain glitches out when I move backwards like that. Um, are we on ammo? We're practically out of HP. And I don't want to deal with the Bloodsucker with this amount of ammo. Right. Excuse me, fleshes. I'm not gonna sit around here. So, running back home. Приветствую на нашей научной базе. Done. It was just a tracking device, so we didn't get much out of it. We don't really have anything important to sell, but let's check on our stash and see what we can actually do. We did get a bolt carrier for the AK, which is really good. And um, we may be able to fix this. Gonna drop everything we don't need. Do we have another weapon? No, we do not. Oh, um, we have the Magnum, but uh, honestly, that's not really important to us right now. I am going to take all of these because I may want to do something with them now. Um, okay, that should be good for now. Let's see. What can we do? I repair this. Fifty percent. We can actually use the medium repair kit to get it past that. Oh yes. And from here we should be able to fix it with some... Um, they're off the patch. And uh, I said... Why am I still a loner? There we go. I can disassemble this. You served me well, friend, but uh, that's enough. Uh, other than that, we don't really have recipes for anything. So that's going to be that. Let's drop everything back except this. And uh, we're going to sell these. Actually, we might need most of these things for uh, upgrading things, so I'll just throw them in there. Right, anything else? These and that. Put the tools back. We will take them right out after when we go to, um, to Dead City, but for now, I just want to have this all solved. 
and um, we maybe get some stuff to fix up our armor completely. I don't really have anything to sell. But one thing and um you know what let's let's just use that with some with some masks and see how far it takes us. Amazing. Okay, look at that rad resist. Wonderful. Okay, so with this we can actually use um we have a pelt. It's not a good pelt, but it's some rupture resistance, it's some electrical and chemical plus weight carried. And we can also use the improved body cooler, which is all pluses and no minuses. We're gonna have better stamina, a bit of burn and electrical resist, much more carry weight. And, well, not much more, but one and a half kilo still is something. And a constant radiation healing effect, which is amazing. Other than that, um, I could maybe grab an artifact, but... Uh, can I sell this, actually? I don't think the professor will accept it. Nah. Not worth fixing it either. But we'll we'll keep it to sell it for something maybe. Okay. Gonna set the spawn point here. And I think this will be it for today. So we actually uh we did die once again. But we did make some pretty good headway. Um, we got back to Yantar, and next episode we will start setting up our base in Dead City. We do have a much better armor, we fully fixed it. The Voyager Stalker suit, I think, should... I mean, it does count for... for um, exploration of the zone it's got pretty good resistances and it's not fully br based so i'm gonna say it it counts for what we should be wearing but uh, i will replace it at some point other than that we're we're doing pretty good i think so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and as always i'll see you all next time